friends, welcome to another Creativity Cure DIY project. Today we're going to be making this awesome, fun wall art. And the best part about it is there are absolutely zero artistic skills needed. We're going to be using a stencil and some basic watercolor pencil. And we're going to be using, actually not even watercolors, we're going to be using spray ink. And... It's super easy. It looks super cool. You can hang it, you can frame it. And I got this stencil from these really cool people from Stencil Revolution. They're just like, hey, you want to try out our stencils? We're starting a company. This is a while ago. Um, but I just haven't gotten a chance to use them yet because I've been like super busy. So um, I'm, I'm lately I've been just like stenciling everything because it's they have the really they have the coolest designs and they are just it makes creating art like just like literally when I say no skills needed watch in the video you literally no skills needed and that is even if you have artistic art artistic artistic or artistic skills it's always fun when you can just do something and just not have to worry about is this good enough or is this you know, how is this going to turn out? Because you just know it's it's a stencil. You're just stenciling and you're watercoloring and it's free of all that kind of like the comparison or the, hmm, what's the word for it? The, the, the perfectionism stress that a lot of creative people and even not creative people go through when creating things. So this takes all of that out of it. So to get started... You just need some stencil adhesive. You can use spray adhesive. I'm using this stencil adhesive that's specifically made for stencils. Um, simply because I find that the spray adhesive, it doesn't come off as easily. Uh, as easily. And when you have something with very thin... By the way, these stencils, like I said, I'm in no way... They were just like, hey, you. they just sent me the stencils, like, check them out. There is nothing like whatever. I'm doing this because I think these stencils are really cool. But I have to say they are super, super like heavy duty stencils. Um, but when you are using thinner stencils, like you can see like the thinner lines in the turtle shell. And you're trying to clean the the, um, the adhesive off afterwards. Sometimes you'll, you'll like rip or break the stencils. So when I'm first using these, I didn't know like how they were going to be. So I would use the, the stencil adhesive by Plaid. And it I like it because it, it cleans up really easily. So you're going to. Put it on the reverse side of our fun little sea turtle here. And I'm using this Canson watercolor paper I love because it's super inexpensive and it's like a really good paper. Um, there are papers that you can spend a lot of money on for watercolor. And remember, we're not even using watercolor. We're, we're using dye ink Um but I just love this. I love Canson uh, XL watercolor paper or Canson XL mixed media paper. Uh, either one, the watercolor is a little bit heavier and you don't get as many sheets. But it doesn't matter, whichever you choose. So I am I just choose this because I just have a bunch of pads laying around because I, I like stuck up on this stuff whenever it's on sale at one of the at one of the stores. I can't say AC Moore anymore. How sad is that? It was very, it was a little bit traumatic for me when AC Moore, yeah. Because I used to, live within my vicinity, I had AC Moore, Michaels, and Joann's. The big three. There was a Hobby Lobby, kind of far away. Um, but I had those all within my vicinity. So at any one time, I can get like art supplies for like 60% off. Because there was bound, someone was bound to have a coupon at any given point. Anyway, so AC Moore is now out of, sadly out of the picture, at least for, I guess, for retail. I think they're still keeping their company open, Nicole Products. I'm not sure for wholesale stuff. I don't know. Don't call me. Anyway, I um, I had this paper, so I'm, I just happened to use it, and it does last, and it does hold up to a lot of water, which a lot of paper will like disintegrate when you start adding waters to it. And since we're going to be using ink sprays, they just naturally have they're very like fluid and a viscous, vis viscous. Is that even a word? Viscous, viscous. They're viscous. They have a, they're uh, they're just very. That might be the wrong word, but they're very, very fluid. 
So I'm actually going to start out um, by just using some post-it tape. And with this watercolor paper, you don't even really need post-it tape. You can use painter's tape, which I actually did in this because I wanted to try and see how the painter's tape would... The green is the painter's tape and the blue is the post-it tape. This water spray bottle and these... Well, I should mention these sprays, by the way, are by Di uh, Delusions. Dilutions. Um, that one's a distress stain, but they're both, you know, they're both comparable. I like the delusions because they're super bright, bright colors, and they're just very vibrant and intense. So I'm, I'm misting this whole entire stencil down. So remember, I have the, I use stencil adhesive on the one side, so it would prevent the, the water from like seeping underneath like the lines in the stencils. That's why I use the stencil adhesive. Otherwise, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't need it. And I just sprayed it with water first. I think it would give it a more fluid look. And then I'm just spraying these uh, Delusions um, ink sprays right on top. And the colors, not only are they vibrant, but they're like really like fun colors. And I believe now they're being sold in like packages of three. So instead of even buying just single like colors but they're there I think they're one ounce the ones I have here are, are two ounce so you get a lot more and believe me you'll go through these like crazy because once you start spraying if you've never used ink sprays before oh my gosh you're gonna just fall in love with it I have like journals and journals just full of sprayed backgrounds and I'm using a, a, a heat tool here which is basically like a toned down hair dryer with less speed and more heat and it just speeds up the drying process and it also kind of pushes the uh, the inks around so you can kind of direct the inks in the way you want and you can push the water however you want or just let it dry the way it is either way super cool also I should note that the box that I'm spraying this in is basically just a card a large cardboard box I think it was even a box that I got a shipment in from Michael's. It was probably a bunch of supplies that I got, and they sent it in this huge block box. I think it was like around Christmas time, and I ordered oh every everything you can imagine. I'm like, all right, I'm totally treating myself. Huge box came, and I'm totally keeping this box because I knew I was going to need it for something, and I did. And I made a uh, there's a word for it. That's spray a spray box. Maybe it's just called a spray box. But either way, um, you just, I'll put a link There's to a, if you want to make one. This way you don't have to go outside and you don't have to worry about, you know, ruining your tabletop. It's real easy. You just like cut the cardboard box and you make a super simple spray box. I'm just using a, a journal that I made here with various types of papers. And I'm just, instead of just like paper toweling or wiping the ink away on the parts we're not going to use, I just like reuse the ink and press it into the journal and you have like a little bit of a beginning to a journal page. I mean, why not, right? Super fun, super easy. And these inks like go a long way. See, it's like a ghosted, it's like the the inverse, like the ghosted turtle print. So I just like save that and we'll start a new journal page and we already have like a base to go on. I'm also going to link the colors because I think the colors that... Um, the colors that I used go really well together. And I know that, like I said, the new um, Dilutions stains come in packs already that are meant to sort of go together and complement each other. And so it takes away kind of like the guesswork. Because, uh, you know, if you... If you are if you are familiar with like a, a little bit of basic like art knowledge, you know that if you mix certain colors, like certain purples and then yellows, you'll just get like brown. You'll get like a muddy color, which I mean, you know, it's cool if that's the look you're going for. But if you just want like vibrant colors, you don't want that. However, if you mix like a purple that's like a really pinky purple with the yellow, you'll get like this cool like orange coming through. So anyway, I'm getting off track here. So. I just sprayed the color I'm using the heat tool, which you don't have to use if you don't want to. I just did it because I like blowing around the paint. It's fun. And drying it off to make the, to speed up the process even more.
and after it's all dry and like I said this Canson watercolor paper is really really super durable it could take a lot of like moisture I could probably just like soak this in water and it would hold up that's how durable it is so now that I have it's all dry I peel the stencil away and I'm just taking some other kind of colors that I have and I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna use them with a watercolor brush to just kind of like fill in the fill in the blanks connect the dots if you know what I mean so it looks like I just magically happen to watercolor paint this turtle out of nowhere right I mean, if someone asks me, obviously I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say, yeah, I came, I painted this watercolor turtle out of nowhere. I'm gonna tell them it's a cool stencil, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think a lot of people um, get or feel. I mean, I used to at least, even with art journaling, which is kind of like just like a a private thing. Sometimes I would feel like guilty using like a stencil or using like another image, and there's no reason to. I mean, it's not you're not you know selling this for a profit. You're not claiming this as like your own idea. So like, why not, right? So. You got this awesome stencil. You made this super cool turtle. And I'm just filling in like the little edges where like the stencil pieces connect. Those little bridges. And I'm using a couple of um, a couple of colors that I used already that were in it. Some of the greens and the turquoises. And just to fill it in and kind of add a little. And then I'm using um, the yellow and the purple to add a little bit of contrast on the outside of the turtle. I kind of like the way it is right now. Um, but I tend to go crazy and just get carried away and just keep adding more and more and more and more and more until the finally the whole thing is basically doesn't even resemble a turtle anymore. So at one point I do have to kind of stop myself and I find that I'm not the only one that does that. I don't know if you guys are like that too, where if someone does, if you, if you don't stop yourself, it just ends up being like a total just mess. So Luckily, I stopped myself at a certain point in this before I just added too much. But I, my point is, I really like the, I, I like it just like this actually. Um, but I just wanted to add some like, um, what do you call it? Drops, not drops, splatter, like a little bit of splattering. And I just use the water brush to to splatter. Now I want to say a reason that I think stenciling is a great way to either start or to add to your creative or artistic journey is because it does take away that whole aspect of, um, I guess it would be insecurity or just um, like a lot of people, I, I tend to totally do it all the time. You fall into this comparison trap, uh, especially when you, especially especially on social media i guess i can name it instagram it's not a negative thing it's just when you i happen to follow a lot of artistic people and when i see other people's uh work i'm just like whoa i'm like this is genius this is brilliant this is like there's no way I could ever, you know what I mean? So it's really, really super easy to fall into that um, comparison trap. With artwork, I think really, really on Instagram. Um, with other things, like on TikTok, you can watch people and they're, um, you're like, have these people live like on an, like on an island with like surrounded by like paradise and it's super easy to feel really bad about yourself after watching that. You know what I mean? But you have to realize that. And you know what me makes it even more, I think, confusing is that you're, you and your friends and celebrities are all kind of intermingled. So you're all intermingled with each other. Like you, you know, trying to make, you know, fun art is intermingled or trying to just like, you know, live your life is intermingled with. Um, these photos or these videos of celebrities that have been um, photoshopped and edited by celebrity photoshoppers and editors and and they have like thousands and thousands of photographs from when they were on vacation in like this place and that place and it 
it just always kind of makes you feel sometimes just like you're not enough or your work isn't enough or what you do isn't enough and I want you guys please don't feel like that because it can be so so easy to fall in that comparison trap and it's not healthy at all at all I mean I suppose actually there are people there are people I know that kind of like thrive they they get better by seeing by seeing um other people's works of art I'm not like that oh nope 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 it makes me feel it may no it makes no mm -mm. I wish I could be like that like I wish I could be like oh wow I'm like more inspired now so anyway I just want you guys to remember that I think stenciling is a great place to get started you can easily do it it comes out looking I think pretty pretty cool and you're basically just sprayed colors I mean how easy is that right frame them put them up and they look like something like that you buy already framed and I just I just think it's super fun but for now that is it and I hope you guys had fun I hope you guys enjoyed this quick easy tutorial if you have any questions please feel free to comment below please like thumbs up and subscribe it will mean so much to me and I will love you forever and I will talk to you guys again soon